Welcome back, everyone. I'm joined now by a very familiar face to many of us, Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man, but also a dear friend of Chadwick's from the Marvel Universe, Robert Downey Jr. So good of you to be with us tonight. And, and you and Chadwick, you shared some iconic moments on screen together as fellow Avengers. So talk to me about one of your memories of Chadwick on set. Um, well, uh, toward the end of the the third Avengers, the uh, Infinity War, there is this uh, we all kind of lose together. And I remember it was one of those few days that all of the uh, all of the Avengers were were together, and um, it was just the way that he walked on set and the immense success that had occurred, and rightfully so with Black Panther, and uh, he was just in this kind of stratus of his own, and uh, but always, always humble, always hardworking, always a smile on his face, and uh, and just, and now looking back, all the more I realized just what an incredibly graceful human mm. being it was. Yeah, and you shared, Robert, you shared such a heartwarming video on Instagram yesterday. The two of you, <laughs> you were laughing, uh, you called him a game changer. How are you yeah. going to remember your friend, and how do you want the rest of the world to remember him too? Well, even just it was about some six, eight weeks ago. I, I reached out to him amidst the uh, the George Floyd protests, and he had such a, a thoughtful and kind of informative uh, reframe for me as I was on a bit of a listening tour. And and then I just go back and think, you know, every. Every time I think about, and, and Black Panther is hands down, it is the crowning achievement of the Marvel Universe. And I, I say that with all due respect to all the other uh, films that have been made, including my own. But it was the one where people got to vote with their ticket sales and say, we require this overdue diversity. Uh, this is a meritocracy, or at least it should be. And this is a fantastic movie that has leveled the the playing field and 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 you know appropriately so and so his his legacy is it's so meaningful and at the same time as i was noticing you know and 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 it's so great of you to do this in abc and disney and marvel to to give this the the space it deserves and so there's a, a void now mm. it's so generous of you to to share that with everyone robert we appreciate it so very very much you take care. Thanks, Robin. Yes, they were just two words, Wakanda forever. But in so many ways, they summed up centuries of struggle. And the world first heard them in the game-changing movie Black Panther, the first superhero film ever nominated for a Best Picture Oscar. But Black Panther was so much more than just a movie. It was a movement, a cultural moment that changed everything before it and after it. And for many, Chadwick Boseman was the man. Here's Byron Pitts. Epic by every measure. We are home. Size, scale, impact. Black Panther didn't simply shatter box office records. It broke boundaries. It was a moment of collective celebration um, because of the story itself, but also because of Chadwick, the significance of it, the brilliance of it, the elegance of it. He did all of that. At the uh, premiere of Black Panther, Chadwick and I saw each other right before uh, the, the curtains rose and, and the film was going to start. And we embraced each other and I said to him, I cannot wait to share this movie with the world. And he kind of le leaned in and, and whispered to me in that soft voice of his, and he said, I can't wait to change the world. And change the world it did. Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever! Wakanda forever became a rallying cry for millions who finally could see a superhero on screen who looked like them. This video going viral of Atlanta students dancing when they were told they'd be going to see the movie. This was a film that was being treated with the same respect and thoughtfulness as a Captain America and an Iron Man. And that was a gift to a generation of children who normally would have never gotten to see something like that before. I say that he was a star, but also a shooting star. 
because he lived his life in such a way that, you know, forever kids who see him in that Black Panther role and see a reflection of themselves embodied in everything that he intended, you know, they get to dream about and wish about and make wishes on that shooting star that was Chadwick Boseman. Chad was my brother. Um, and I mean that in the sense of there's obviously, you know, brother in the sense of being, you know, uh, uh, African-American man in America. But the brotherhood that I, you know, I'm really speaking of um, is, is Howard. When he spoke at commencement at his beloved alma mater, he reflected on a role he thought played into stereotypes. I was conflicted. Howard had instilled in me a certain amount of pride, and for my taste, this role didn't live up to those standards. Chad was a very, very conscious dude, you know, um, and he would not, um, he wasn't the kind of cat that felt like he had to take a role to make a living. His art was an extension of that struggle. And so he wasn't gonna take something that wasn't gonna, you know, wasn't gonna embody that. He wasn't gonna take anything that embarrassed him, embarrassed his people, embarrassed his community. He, that just wasn't him. He would play smaller roles until he finally got the chance to embody a real life hero. Jackie Robinson in 42. I didn't come here to make friends. I don't even care if they respect me. I know who I am. When you play someone who, who lives so courageously, you're able to sort of rise to the occasion in a way because you play someone who does that. It gives you a sense of courage. Chadwick played great men, and he was a great man, and, and bringing real life characters uh, to the screen with such amazing um, nobility and humor and humanity. Uh, and that's why he was the only choice. The only actor we ever discussed to play T'Challa was Chadwick Boseman. He brought royalty. <laughs> he brought royalty. It's not easy to play a king. Um, he brought a, you know, a, a regal spirit, you know, and he always had that. Ready, go! Black Panther would be the role of a lifetime for Bozeman, a work of art that wasn't colorblind, but rather color brain, reimagining what it meant to be a warrior, a hero, a king. I watched this movie and I see all these black people, and so in some ways it seems intentionally black. But by the end of it, it's sort of coincidentally black. Universal story. It's a universal it's story. It's a universal story. Yeah, like, like and, and the truth is, is you know, um, art, art can do that. I grew up, man, I grew up loving comic books, man. It, a lot of my comic books I read, it wasn't a black face to be found. You know, um, our story is about a man who's taking on a, a responsibility that he does not feel ready for. You know, I can't think of a more universal story. Everybody goes through that. You've portrayed major figures in American history, groundbreaking figures, Jackie Robinson, James Brown, Thurgood Marshall. How does Black Panther fit into that? Right, because because th those were all men who changed history. Right. Who changed not only how people saw themselves, but how other people saw them. I certainly wouldn't be here if it were not for those men that I portrayed. Um, you know, because of what they did uh, in their lives and and what the doors that it opened for me. So when I'm walking through the lab and I'm feeling myself because I'm king and I'm with, you know, my sister. There's a little bit of James Brown. When I'm holding court, there's a little bit of Thurgood Marshall. The power of the Black Panther. And for generations to come, young men, in particular those of color, may stride a bit bolder with a little Chadwick Boseman in them. He didn't simply exude gravitas. He exemplified grace and grit along with it, not only in his career, but in his final hours. Film like Black Panther, you know, Chad was articulating as only he could, you know, the humanity of, of, of black folks. And that's what this is all about. You can't shoot a man in the back unless you believe they're, you know, subhuman or, or not human at all. What Chad was in the, in, in the work of doing was communicating black humanity through black heroism, but primarily black humanity. And he was peerless in his ability, you know, to, to do it in his chosen field. And he's gone. And so that's a huge loss. That's a huge, huge loss. You watch movies to walk in the shoes of the protagonist or the hero, but it's not just me playing it, it's also you watching it. And uh, I think that's, you know, I, I feel blessed to have had the opportunity to do that. 
our thanks to Byron. And now it is my pleasure to welcome someone else who is part of the cultural moment of Black Panther, Oscar winner Forrest Whitaker, who plays Zuri. We know that he was such a dear colleague and a co-star of yours in the film. First of all, Forrest, thank you so much for being with us tonight. And could you share with us your fondest memory from your time working with Chadwick? There's a number of memories, I guess, I'm always excited to get a chance to work with him because he's such a talented artist and he's done so many great films. And uh, when we started to do Panther, uh, I started off to work in, at the Falls. And I was able to look at him as he was like doing the uh, action sequence with Michael Jordan mm. and doing everything himself, you know, and uh, it's over and over and over again. And so I got a chance to recognize this sort of discipline that he had and focus that he had uh, in the scenes that we were doing there. But I think I was kind of touched uh, when we were doing the coronation scene where, he's, where we're crowning him king and everyone in the audience is, uh, you know, dancing and the drums are playing. And I turned to Chadwick and Chadwick says that he feels something, he could feel this energy coming, this, uh, uh, that as if there was a transformation that was going on. Mm. And I, I thought that was uh, really powerful that he was being empowered, that it was actually happening. And I think um, it's that kind of discipline, but openness yeah. uh, that allowed part of the phenomenon of, of Black Panther to occur, like all the different things that happened from what he did with this sort of a inspiring people to believe in it and to remember their heritage and their lineage and ancestry and the beauty and of the uh, black culture and people of color and, and to kind of, I guess, empower people in a deep mm. way. I mean, children to be able to be empowered, to see themselves and for people to be able to see the, the possibilities. And, and uh, I think the possibility is that aspirational in a way, Chadwick was aspirational in a way for so many people. He, was, he represented a great deal of hope. And in the film, he did that too, by making people realize that, that more can come, that they can have the great lives and that they come from something special and they have something special. And, and I think he recognized that in a really powerful way. So yeah. it was really an honor to be able to do it. My God, it was so well said, Forrest, so well said. Thank you, Forrest Whitaker, for being with us tonight. We appreciate it, you take care. It's a pleasure, thank you for having me. Good for chatting with Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.